Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jace, and I am here on Tuesday apologizing to you for yesterday and not getting to you guys. I, um, I'm not, like, trying to come up with excuses, but I had a ridiculous day yesterday. I had to be to work at 5 o'clock, and I didn't get out until either 1.30 or 2, and then I had to come home, write an essay, or finish writing an essay, get to school. I had a huge cluster with trying to get it printed out at my house because my printer was being dumb. And so I had to rush to school and get to print it out before class started. And then by the time I got out of class, parentals were sleeping, therefore I had no internet connection. Um, so I am here to do my, I guess it's technically the first video, it's technically the second video, but this is the first video of our topics. And <clears throat> this week's topic is coming out. And do you believe that being LGBTQ is something you're born with, or if it's based on your environment? And I'm going to start out with whether I think I was born with it, or if I think it was part of my environment. Honestly, I definitely think I was born into the LGBTQ community. There is way too much of my past that proves that. Um, in order for me to think otherwise. I mean, since I could basically think for myself, I questioned who I was, and I looked at the world in confusion the whole time because I felt like I saw things differently from everyone else. Um, but as for coming out, I got to, I had the pleasure of coming out twice because the first time I came out, I was coming out as a lesbian, and the second time I came out, I was coming out as trans, and every time I came out, I came out first to my friends, and then second to my mother, and then I always let my mother tell my dad. <laughs> um, it was just always seemed to work out better that way. Um, in high school, I actually met my first girlfriend, way earlier in life, and ended up, in ju our junior year of high school, we had the same history class together, so we kind of just pretended to be lesbians at first, because we were both considered straight girls at that point, um, <clears throat> and after pretending for, I want to say, almost three months, we decided, like, it gradually, on our own terms, while we were hanging out, gradually turned into not just joking around about it anymore. And then finally, after about three months, we came out to everybody at school. And probably shortly after that, it wasn't too long after that, um, that we actually came out to our parents about it. And we both lucked out in our parents liking each other's significant other. Therefore, we didn't have too big of an issue because I think they, I think both of our parents just kind of looked at it as if we were just really good friends at first and then began to realize when her parents started noticing when she started coming home with flowers and teddy bears and pockets and pockets full of love notes and all that good jazz and my parents finally accepted it when they realized I guess that I don't know, maybe they just realized it and accepted it for what it was, <laughs> because there wasn't really any haziness in between. Um, but coming out as trans was a different story. It was a lot harder, a lot di more difficult, and um, I think it was a lot harder on me and a lot harder on everyone else, because it's so much more of a drastic it's more of a change than just coming out as something. Like, you actually go through changes within yourself, which causes changes upon your family and how they look at you and all that good stuff. Or bad stuff, I guess, however you look at it. Because, I mean, when the change is happening, it's so difficult that it's hard to look at it as a good thing. Um, from the outsider's perspective, obviously, for me, it was definitely a good thing because I was feeling better as, my, as a person. Um... But I would have to say that 
all I know about when I came out to the first people I came out to was my girlfriend at the time and my sister. My sister could not grasp it. She had a really hard time almost even being okay with it. She just thought it was a phase and I actually I realized that I was trans by watching the documentary called Transgeneration. And I don't know if any of you know Tranny Trent on YouTube, but he was in that documentary and I actually felt like honored to talk to him on YouTube because his story was the one that really made a big change in my life and outlook on myself. Um, but my sister just thought that by watching that documentary it was just kind of a phase and that I just was trying to relate myself to these people so that because just because I had so much in common with these people she thought that that what she didn't think that it was what I was she thought I thought it was what I was <laughs> if that made any sense it made sense to me um, but anyways my girlfriend at the time was very accepting of it and she said whatever makes you happy do what you gotta do and the only problem with that was when we first started going out we were both considered butch lesbians so by the end of it as I started dressing more masculine and binding and wearing like putting on sideburns and facial hair and everything we looked like sometimes we looked like two gay boys walking around and that was very odd and uncomfortable I would have to say um, and I think that kind of put a damper on our relationship. I don't want to say that we broke up because I don't. Th I don't want to say our relationship relationship started falling apart because I was trans. But it, some it wasn't because I was trans, but it was changes that I was going through as a person that made us start falling apart. Um, but after we broke up, I started just trying to do me and try and just focus on myself. And I think just coming out to everybody and anybody, I mean, I'm still coming out to people today. It's not just like I came out one time as trans and that was the end of it. Every single day I'm coming out as trans because there's different people all the time who I feel I have met that level of comfort that I can finally tell. And yesterday I actually told the first person at my work, that I was trans because um, I went to high school with this kid and he is now at the homeless shelter and when he met me he asked me if I was who I was in high school well he asked me if I was by my birth name and I said no that's not no he asked me if I was related to me <laughs> um, and I said yes yeah, she's my cousin and so it's almost been two months now, and he's just believed that I was my own cousin, <laughs> basically. Um, but yesterday, he asked me if I remembered um, a specific teacher from school, and he's like, oh, wait, you don't even go, you never even went to that high school. That was your cousin. And I was like, all right, I've been talking to you for two months again now, and we've known each other in the past and he said we haven't known each other in the past and I was like no really we have known each other in the past I went to high school with you for four years and well for three years and yeah you know who I am but this is me now and this is what I go by and he looked at me and he's like no you're not you're not that person and I was like no really I am and he's like you no you look way too different you look like a man <laughs> and I was like that's the point <laughs> and I went through and explained the whole thing to him and he just he had this look like wow and it wasn't he wasn't like weirded out he wasn't he didn't think he doesn't treat me any differently than he did before um, I think just now it's different because he probably thinks about it sometimes when we're working together in the bakery he's probably just looking at me like wow we used to jam out in high school and we used to have classes together and now he looks like a totally different person <laughs> um, I don't know it's just kind of weird but like I said I'm coming out every single day of life to different people all the time and it never gets any easier really it just it, it doesn't necessarily get harder but I've learned that the more comfortable with yourself 
the more easy it is to come out because people are comfortable with you. 